part three. So we're down to about 10 heroes now, maybe 12. There's some ones that I don't recognize from the original group, but I don't care. I'm just supposed to write this stuff down. Make a record of all of this. If we lose any more, I'll start actually recording their mains. I haven't been so far. Because that's a lot of names. And I didn't feel like dealing with it. I'm not the scribe of the specifics, just the general events that are happening. Someone else has been writing down all the names, but I don't care about them. But if we get under six, I'll, sorry, I'll record them. Hope that didn't mess up the recording. But, uh, they killed the lightning dragon and the fire dragon. And they decided to be somewhat smart and kill an ice dragon just in case the big one had ice. The big one had ice. They went off to fight it after I figured out its general location. It was hiding, well, I guess not hiding, all things considered, but uh, it was on a small mountain situated roughly between Zaltinian, the largest mortal sediment, settlement. and Alompon, the Divine Settlements. Do they count as a settlement when it's all just one big area? I guess it's more of a realm than anything. Whatever. Uh, yeah, we went from around 30 heroes or so, 12, and we figured out one of the ice dragons, it's uh, a slightly different color from the rest, it's nicer, and they figured that out when I tried to rescue them, or I guess did rescue them since some of them survived. in all honesty to me is pretty telling how even the weak dragons because apparently they've been stealing some of the big war ones gold to gain power all those weaker ones are appear to be smarter than the big one and are attempting to use that to their advantage now then the big one as I described before isn't just a mindless beast. It's learning and adapting just it's like a particularly well-trained dog as opposed to some of these smaller dragons which appear to be almost human-like in their thought, bar, thought process. From what I can tell the gods just kind of mash different brain bits together for each of the different dragons in the hopes that uh, it wouldn't explode. I found out from Kaltimir that uh, 
he was on part of the group that made the smaller dragons. And a lot of them are just kind of exploding, or were just kind of exploding when they were first made. So that's apparently a thing. I had assumed that the gods, being the ones to create each of the individual mortal races, now known to be counting as four, the humans, the scribes like myself, the Ninjakis, I believe is what they figured out their name was, and the dragons. Concerning the gods made each of these, you would think they know how the bits fit together. Uh, apparently, I was being a little generous. The gods aren't even sure what all the bits are. So, my very low expectations for the gods' intelligence and planning proved to be too high. A sour state indeed. But, with the help of this nicer off-white dragon that controls some form of ice, they're attempting to convince some of the smaller dragons to work together uh, with the heroes and kill the big one. But, based off of how some of the heroes were looking and what little I can actually tell from the dragons' faces, each individual dragon is, plan is planning on betraying the heroes and the other dragons. The off-white dragon is planning on betraying the other dragons and siding with the heroes. And the heroes are planning to betray everything that isn't the off-white dragon and the, a hero. I even managed to overhear and confirm that some of them are planning on killing more humans and using their gathered power to rule over us as many gods, effectively. Hoping to work together then to kill some of the gods or at least seal the passage between the two realms. So, that's gonna go horribly. Yay. 